Greetings, Pokemon fans! Michael here, and with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the horizon, that means we're gonna be getting some new Pokemon, which also means that some of the never before used dual type combinations are going to end up being used for the very first time. In this video, I'm gonna be going over all those never before seen type combinations and talking about my personal thoughts on them, which ones I most wanna see and what I think some cool designs could be. I'll also talk a little bit about how good some of them are gonna be, but the main focus is my personal opinions. So, well, if they suck, I guess that could affect my personal opinion. Anyways, so we've got Pokemon DB's lovely list up here, and the first thing you'll notice is that there are five normal something combinations. Normal Ice, Normal Poison, Normal Bug, Normal Rock, and Normal Steel. And I'll just say right up front, we don't need these. In fact, I am specifically requesting that we do not get them. The thing about the normal type is that it is usually used to represent a creature that doesn't really fit any of the other types. Normal types tend to be just animals. But then if it's just an animal, but with an elemental power, it should just be that elemental type. So for example, Stoutland is a dog. It's not much more than a dog, so it's a normal type. Then you have Arcanine. It's a fire dog but it's not a fire normal type, it's just a pure fire type. I don't really personally see the point of adding the normal type on there, unless it started as a normal type and then gained a new special type. For example, Beedoof started as just a normal beaver and then it became a beaver that can swim, so it gained the water type, I'm fine with that. But other ones like Helioptile and Heliolisk or Litleo and Pyroar, why start with normal type at all? Yes, they are animals with an elemental power, but that's, the. That's just like Arcanine. So looking through these unused normal type combos, none of them really make sense. Like a normal ice type should just be a pure ice type. A normal poison should just be a pure poison type. A normal bug, that doesn't even make any sense because both normal and bug are referring to the physical attributes of the Pokemon. So I'm not sure you could have a regular animal that is also a bug. Bugs are already regular animals and they get their own type. But another reason I don't really want these normal something combos is that they don't help the types at all. And in fact, a lot of the times hurt them. The only situation I really see for normal being added to a type helping is if that pure type is weak to ghost. So psychic normal and ghost normal quite appreciate gaining the normal type because they turn their ghost weakness into an immunity. Ghost normal is great. Psychic normal I think is okay at best, to be honest, I think. But the normal actually does something there. All these other types, ice, poison, bug, rock, adding normal, yeah, it makes them immune to ghost, but that's not a huge deal. The bigger thing is that it adds a weakness to fighting, which for ice, rock, and steel, it's just changing their two times weakness to fighting into a four times weakness. That's horrible. And I haven't even talked about the offensive side of things because normal doesn't really help on offense. It can maybe help if the other elemental type is resisted by an enemy type that it does not resist normal. But if I'm looking at all these types, you know what's one type that resists ice, Poison, bug, rock, or steel? Steel, it's actually immune to poison. Adding one of the types that's good against steel helps. Adding normal doesn't help because steel still resists normal. So any of the normal blank unused dual types, bottom of the list. But then we immediately move on to one of my favorites, fire grass. I've made multiple videos in the past about what new dual types I wanted to see, like this one. One made before gen seven, one made before gen eight. And in both of those, I talked about how Fire Ice was the type combo I most wanted to see. That's because I love the creative challenge of combining two types that are seemingly opposite into one cohesive creature. And then Zen Mode Galarian Darmanitan came along in Sword and Shield, and I got my wish. I wish it was better, and I wish it wasn't just an alternate form. I'd like to see another one, but the type combo's been used. Fire grass is basically the next version of that because if you have a plant that's on fire, you don't have a plant anymore. So I really wanna see fire grass because I think there could be some really fun creative ideas with it. In fact, let's look at some. This one is one I used in my thumbnail years ago. Basically, it's just a sentient tree that's on fire that I am choosing to believe would not be in pain. Some kind of tiki Pokemon would be interesting, but I feel like if they were gonna 
do that, they should have done it in Alola. I think another angle they could go with is a spicy hot pepper Pokemon. Although with Fuecoco, its general shape looks a lot like a pepper. So I'm not sure they'll go with this angle because they're not gonna make Fuecoco grass type. It's a starter. There's a grass type starter it can't overlap with. Okay, this one I don't think they would make because it looks too mean to be a Pokemon, but it is cool. And if you look at how good it is, I mean, only fire and dragon resist that stab combo and only three weaknesses. It's honestly not terrible, I've decided. So fire grass, love it, wanna see it, give it to me please. Fire fairy, this one, I'm honestly kind of surprised we don't yet have. I feel like if they changed Delphox's design a bit, they could have gone with that. But I also see why they didn't because they wanted the psychic fighting dark triangle with the secondary typings. But looking at the rest of this list, if you exclude fire grass because a starter's never gonna be fire grass, fire fairy is the only type combo here that's possible for a starter. I would be quite surprised if Fue Coco ended up being fire fairy because that's just not the vibe I'm getting from the little mongrel. But it is something to see. And also fire fairies are like, a they're a thing. You guys ever play Neopets? Look, the fire fairy. Make this woman a Pokemon. <laughs> In all seriousness though, I think fire fairy would be a really cool combo. It's basically like wielding kind of like fire magic. Like you could do really cool colored flames that are not just the regular red and orange and yellow, pink, Flames. I don't want to see it as much as fire grass, but that one's definitely kind of higher on my list of types I'd want to see. I think it would be, I think it could be a really cool Pokemon. Next is electric fighting. This is another one I'm kind of stunned we don't have considering how many electric type Pokemon. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I'm really just thinking of the Electabuzz line. No, I'm also thinking of Zero Aura. Yeah, the fact that neither Electivire or Zero Aura, despite being bipedal punching electric types, that's just crazy to me. I feel like we need electric fighting just cause I, I wanna see some cool electric fighting Pokemon that's like, I'm gonna punch you cool combat, but with electricity. Next we have ice poison. This one is interesting. Some design ideas I have for it don't really make a lot of sense. Cause it's just like, oh, I wield ice spikes that just happen to have poison in them. What if it's a Pokemon that's based on polluted waters that froze so it's toxic water but it's frozen well this isn't really exactly what i was thinking that just has trash in it but you know so, something kind of like that maybe it's like tinted a little green or brown it actually has fewer weaknesses than i thought it would so that's nice all right so now we got fighting ground this is another one i'm kind of surprised doesn't exist yet because once again i feel like there's quite a few ground types that could have been fighting types an argument could be made for marowak especially because he's got Whack in his name. Go lurk if he wasn't ancient. Diggersby if it punched with his ears. Okay, fewer than I thought, but still, I'm kind of picturing a Pokemon that's kind of loosely based on some like desert combatant, like, oh no, maybe something kind of like this. Or like the Sandbenders. I always thought their outfits were pretty cool. If you could make a Pokemon like that. The type combo offensively is really good. That is super effective against more than a third of the game. It does have six weaknesses. It's more than I thought, but still. Whenever I don't have a fighting type or a ground type on my team, I always miss it. I think a big reason for that is that they handle steel, which has so many resistances. And also fighting's the only type good against normal and ground's the only type good against electric. So if I could just deal with both of those as one Pokemon on my team, I would appreciate it. And the next unused combo is the combination of you and clicking the subscribe button. And I definitely wanna see that. Next we have Fighting Fairy. This is another one I would quite like to see because it will punch you with sparkles. I think I would like to see Fighting Fairy for the same reasons that I like Dark Fairy. Grimmsnarl, I'm a big fan of Grimmsnarl. I know he is one ugly dude, but I like it because it's kind of that whole opposites combined thing I was talking about, like with fire and ice. Cause Fairy is supposed to be jovial, kind, light and bright magic. And then dark is dark. And while not as stark of a difference as dark and fairy, fighting in fairy is a difference because fairy's more special attacking. You know, magic from a distance goes sparkles. Whereas fighting is like, yeah, more violent, aggressive. Fairy is generally a more feminine type. Fighting is a more masculine type. So combining those together, I think would be really interesting. <laughs> I looked up fairy fighting type Pokemon and I got this image. <laughs> Another type that's really good offensively, 
super effective against more than a third of the game, including steel. Poison's the only one that resists it, and I feel like fighting types tend to get Earthquake. This one could also probably get Zen Headbutt. I want it. Give it to me now. Next, we got Poison Steel. This one I'm kinda kind of mixed feelings on. Interesting design-wise, because Poisoned Metal has been like a thing in history for a long time. You've got Toxic Laced arrows maybe its whole thing is that it's like corroding all the time oh actually i saw it and i was like oh it's got a four times weakness to ground that's that's really bad but it has that and then it has a two times weakness to fire and then it has a bunch of resistances immunity to poison this is better than i thought it was gonna be the only type that resists it is steel okay actually i said this was middle of the road it has increased in the road i'm interested look we could get another new muck form where it just gets a can <laughs> Oh, a polluting factory Pokemon. All right, yep, no, I want this. I, at first I was like, yeah, maybe, but now that I see there's so many options for cool ideas. Next, we got Ground Fairy. This type is interesting. In one of Wolfie VGC's videos, he talks about how it is one of the best type combos in the game and how he kind of doesn't want it because of that, but I don't play competitive, so I could just get it and use it on my team and kick booty with it. It's unresisted offensively. That's big. It does have four weaknesses, but two immunities and four resistances. And one of the types it's weak to, steel, it is also good against. I'm not sure exactly what the design could be. I feel like ground and fairy are so general that you'd have a lot of options, you know, because ground types go everywhere from a large robot to a tiny elephant to a pile of sand. And fairy types have basically just as much variance as long as they're in general cute, aside from the Grinstar line, but we respect that line. So I wanna see it just cause the type combo would be cool. Next we have Bug Dragon. This is a type I think would be interesting to see design wise, kind of trying to combine the reptilian aspects of a reptile with the insect aspects of a bug. But what would make this type more interesting is if they buffed the bug type in gen nine. It's on the table. It's a new generation. They can change type charts only when it's a new generation and they might do it. We've been given no indication that they will, but it's actually possible for the first time since Sword and Shield. Wolfie VGC has a really good video talking about how he would buff the bug type, which is the worst type in the game. And something he mentioned that would take bug from really, really bad to like, okay would be making it so instead of fairy resisting bug bug is strong against fairy fairy is one of the best types in the game so having bug be strong against it would nerf it a little bit and it would make bug a lot more useful because i mean look at this bug is resisted by more than a third of the game but fairy is one of them so you'd remove that and make it another type it's good against so while i think a bug dragon would be interesting i think it'd be a lot more fun if they paired it with a buff for the bug type. So this dragon with its all kinds of legs, those extra legs are actually helping it deal with the threat of fairies. And people have designed some really cool bug dragon Pokemon. Like you got this one, you got this one, you got this one, you got this one, oh my gosh. So I'd like to see bug dragon, especially if they buff the bug type. We're following that immediately by bug dark which is not as interesting as Bug Dragon. And honestly, kind of surprised we don't have it yet. Just make a really mean bug. I feel like most of them are. This is low on my list because we've seen mean bugs before and a bug dark type would be a mean bug and I don't need to see any more mean bugs. I mean, I could, it'd be fine, but I don't really care that much. And then the last completely unused dual type is Rock Ghost. This one, I think design wise, super cool. Let us explore some ancient ruins and a chunk of the ruins have come to life. Kind of like Runarigus. I'm realizing, why is it ground type and not rock type? It's like literally possessing stone. Well, I don't know, something like that. Okay, well, this is dope. Offensively, rock ghost is not resisted by anything. Not as stellar defensively as six weaknesses, which is a lot, but it would be cool. So now that I've looked over them all, I can definitively rank them based on which ones I most want to see. At the very bottom is all of the normal ones. Then we've got Bug Dark. It's just a mean bug. Eh. And then we've got Bug Dragon. I said I'd want to see it, 
assuming bug gets buffed. If bug does not get buffed, then it's kind of lower on the list. Then we've got ice poison. I think it would be interesting, but not amazing. Rock ghost, cool designs. I think there's a lot of potential with that. Fire fairy, fire magic, a fire fairy. Ground fairy, spectacular typing. I'd want to use it. Fighting ground, give me my sand desert warrior. Poison steel, really good typing. All kinds of different cool design options. Fairy fighting, punch with sparkles, fun. Electric fighting, punch with lightning, even more fun. And fire grass, combining two seemingly opposite things into one cohesive creature. Let me know down in the comments below what combo you most want to see, and thank you so much for watching. With the next special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon, who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you want to help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. And if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big events. Gotta catch them all!